Russia's pre-Caspian pipeline deal has received a mixed response from Western observers. At the International Energy Agency's biennial conference in Paris, some European delegates voiced concerns about Russia's control over energy assets. But the IEA's executive director told Business Today that Russia's planned pipeline could coexist with other internationally owned gas routes. Uh, what is needed to ensure security is diversity. And diversity does not mean that uh, Russia should be excluded. Of course not. Russia is one of the main suppliers and uh, also has been generally a uh, reliable one. But uh, consumers need diversity, diversity of routes, diversity of pipelines, and Russia needs diversity too, uh, diversity of consumers. Europe has long been working on building its own pipeline that bypasses Russia. The Nabucco project envisions a pipeline stretching from Turkey to Austria. It would carry Central Asian gas by linking up with an existing pipeline in Turkey. Russia has a competing project to extend the Blue Stream pipeline, which currently crosses the Black Sea and Turkey. By signing the pre-Caspian deal, Russia has effectively triumphed over a competing plan to build a trans-Caspian pipeline, a proposal to link up with a Nabucco route. This last project has the United States backing as a break on Russia's increasing control over the world's energy market. As far as I'm concerned, the more flags you have planted in a pipeline, the less it is subject to political uh, intrigue and to, uh, to uh, national agendas. But this rush to build pipelines comes at the cost of falling investment in gas exploration. Russia's gas fields are producing less and less each year, while domestic demand continues to grow. Output from Gazprom's leading fields is falling by about 6 percent a year. That in part explains why the monopoly is turning to Central Asia's gas fields to plug the gap. Some analysts say Turkmenistan is producing enough gas to supply either the Russian or the U.S.-backed pipeline project, but not both. Hey Ali, Russia Today.